Today we're back out at the Artisan Barn. That means the barn where all the artsy craftsy people are. Let's go in and see what's happening. Let's see if anything's happening in here today. Oh, look, there's a lady caning chairs. There's a guy down there making bowls. There's a candle maker. I hear some music someplace. Look, there's a guy playing some music. Let's go over and listen. Mountain dulcimer. A mountain dulcimer. Wow, that's pretty cool. Where did you where where, where did you get that thing? I built them. <gasps> no oh. stinking way! You <laughs> built that? Unbelievable! Look at that! You built that? That's got how many strings has that got on it? Well, there's just four strings. Four. Yep. Only four. What happened to the others? Twelve or eight or whatever. And that's why this is not a banjo or a guitar. It's a dulcimer. A dulcimer. Yes. A dulcimer. And it's got four strings on there. And you built that yourself. Correct. That's unbelievable. How long did it take you to build that? Oh, I suppose uh, three weeks. About three weeks. That's a lot of hours. That's a lot of hard work. It takes hard work to do something good too, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, how, how did you how did you know how to build that? Well, <clears throat> just a lot of research on it, and I've been a carpenter all my life. <clears throat> uh -huh. So uh, this is something that's. Uh, been passed down through generations a handcrafted uh, thing and I kind of like that did you did you design it uh, no <gasps> you followed the instructions didn't you no. you got some instructions you followed the instructions didn't you didn't you didn't you didn't you no this you got is some a, right up there in your brain I bet don't you this is the traditional shape for a dulcimer uh-huh they come in two basic shapes two shapes an hourglass that this is or a teardrop shape oh uh, so that's there's... just like grandma. She used to be an hourglass, but she's a teardrop now. Is that right? But I still love her. I still love her. I still love her. And look at that. That's, that's got a plug-in on it. That's kind of modern, ain't it? It sure is. That's so you can hear it when we uh, perform outdoors. Now, I bet you have to follow the instructions when you learn how to play something like this. Yeah, I had an instruction book. Uh-huh. See, I knew. I knew you followed the instructions. But how did you know how to build this? Somebody had to teach you. You had to learn, right? No, I pretty much should do it myself. You just did it yourself. You had to figure it out. and uh, But you just don't make it any old way you want. you got to make it a certain way for it to sound right. What if you build it wrong? How's it sound? Sounds terrible. Sound terrible. See, you got to build it right. Listen to him, kids. you got to build it right. you got to listen to people. Even if you don't have written instructions, you got to listen to people that know how to do things. That's that was pretty great. cool. What song were you playing? Oh, that was uh, When the Morning Comes. When the Morning Comes. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Could you uh, could you teach me how to play a song? Sure. Let's. Uh, All right. Give me a basic lesson. You give are me, my. Give me a. You, you are, are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. I love that song. One finger. One finger. Press down on two strings. Moonshine. I said. I said sunshine. I said sunshine. I that was a little. <laughs> Never mind. Well, thank you very much, Maynard, for for talking to us and showing us your handmade dulcimer. We love that. You did a great job. Say bye to all the kids at home. Bye, kids. Have a good time. Bye. See you later, Maynard. Keep playing that music over there. <laughs>